outside a metro station in downtown Dubai. Jill Handel finds her way to an electric scooter for rent to navigate the city's typically congested streets and save on the high fuel prices. Using a mobile application, Jill books her ride and scoots home over several of Dubai's special lanes for micro-mobility vehicles. The 30-year-old interior designer says that using an e-scooter is easier, quicker and saves her money. It's actually just easier for me. It's quicker where my office is located. Um, using the metro and then a scooter actually cuts out a lot of transportation time, which is amazing. Um, it also, the environmental factor of it, obviously using an electric scooter does cut down on emissions, um, which is something that we're all uh, looking at lately. Um, and then also with the rising petrol prices, this actually saves a lot of money to take the metro and then scoot home. Um, no, it's not difficult to use at all. It's really easy. Dubai has made it very safe by putting all of the lanes on the road. They are speed controlled. There are rules around them. So it's really accessible for everyone and it's a great mode of transportation. The new buzz on Dubai's roads didn't come as a surprise to Jadeep, co-founder and CEO of Phoenix, a year and a half old mobile application that provides its users easy access to scooters, e-bikes, cars and public transit in the city and in other Gulf countries. Walking through Phoenix warehouse, the young CEO oversees dozens of e-scooters being charged and maintained before they are deployed to the streets. With the recent rise in gas prices, the demand for micro-mobility is up. People's behaviors is shifting as they prioritize affordability, convenience and experience according to the CEO. Yeah, um, behavior is absolutely shifting. And when we think about it, there's really three things that people care about, affordability, convenience, and experience. And all three are getting uh, much more competitive when it comes to light electric vehicles, far more affordable than private cars, more infrastructure and connectivity with metros, making them more convenient. And of course, it's a great ride. It's a lot of fun. Uh, that's another reason people are opting for it. So uh, a lot of people are opting for light electric vehicles as a much more affordable option to the private car. I mean, car could cost you maybe 150,000 dirhams. Buying an e-scooter maybe will cost you 1,500 to 2,000 dirhams. So 1% the cost of a car. Of course, it's electric with no uh, fuel costs. Prices of fuel were already elevated before Russia invaded Ukraine on February 24. But since mid-March, fuel costs have surged, much of the reason being a lack of adequate refining capacity to process crude into gasoline and diesel to meet high global demand.